Good morning, folks. We've got a look at our star, including that big southern sunspot group coming into view, which had that large eruption two days ago. We have things to watch and top science news coming as well, but we are starting right here with the sun, and the last 24 hours was relatively benign. A couple C-class solar flares, minor plasma motions in the corona, solar wind here at Earth remained variable, but without significant geomagnetic disturbance. The C-class flares were unable to produce coronal mass ejections, plasma filaments remained relatively stable, minor jet activity from some of the active regions, but nothing more. The big story on our star is the sunspot situation. We do continue to have smaller groups crossing the Earth-facing half, but it's the new sunspot where our focus comes for the coming days. Big active region cresting the incoming limb on the south, and this is what we'll be watching most of all as it turns in to face Earth this weekend. If you missed it yesterday, had another live stream event, answered about a billion questions in the two hours we were all there. Most were focused on the disaster cycle, as usual. We also had some folks use the opportunity to make some jokes. Sarcastic Ben came out a couple times, and even a tiny bit of angry Ben came out for a moment. Link to the video is below. Our first science article today comes in the wind category, looks at QBO and ENSO effects, but also at the solar influence. We've previously seen several papers suggesting that solar activity played a role in global wind patterns, and that holds here as well. The sun impacts every aspect of the atmosphere. We also have a new book out by the experts who previously published pre-earthquake processes. This one includes the electromagnetic precursors and dives deeper on the global electric circuit. It is very expensive, unfortunately, but everything in this book is also covered in Chapter 7 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, which also has a tremendous amount of information on how the sun impacts weather and climate, obviously. By the way, this book and our other books on the Earth disaster cycle are 20% off at our Shopify store at the link below. In fact, Everything there is 20% off right now, including the children's science books, our merchandise like hats, jackets, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and more. Take advantage of the sale. Kat says it will last until Saturday. Again, all of that is at the link below the video, along with much more. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.